Hello everyone, I am Professor Veena Balal and today we will see how to implement the various network devices such as hub, switch and a router in the network and we will also see the behavior of these devices in the network. So first let's see how a hub behaves. So we are using the hub which is a hub PT. Then we will select some network devices which are say I am using only four devices I can select from router I can select from laptop and desktop anything then I will be using the automatic connections to connect the hub to the now once I connect uh, use the automatic connections to connect the hub to the router And what I need to give is only the IP addresses now to individual devices. So if you just click on this, there are six ports. That means I can connect six devices, but I'm using only four devices over here. So I will go to IP configuration and just configure 192. Suppose if I use the IP address 192.55. Say 12.1. Okay, so this is the IP address of my first end device. Then I again do the same thing for the second device. So 12.2 is my second device. Then third is same way desktop 12.3. And then the last one is your 12.4. Which is my fourth device so I have configured all the devices now let's see how the journey of the packet goes so if you just go from here we see that it is successful now if I go in the simulation all of you can observe that it has go, gone from source to the hub and then the packet broadcast to all the end devices and whichever it is required uh, meant for you don't see a cross the remaining ones are showing you cross now this is the reverse journey which is the acknowledgement of the packet which was sent so acknowledgement is received only for the packet which was it uh, for which it was meant for and the rest of the packet it is showing a cross so this is the operation of the hub that the hub will broadcast the packet to all the devices on the network now let's move on to the second part that how the switch behaves in a network so we are selecting a switch from here and I'm selecting a switch which is say 295024 switch so if I just see the physical view there are 24 ports so I can connect up to 24 devices for this particular switch but I will restrict myself to only four devices okay so I can select a mix of laptop and desktops, whatever I wish to select. Then I will use the automatic connection to connect the switches. So I'm connecting the switches. So if you observe, the network is slowly becoming red to orange and from orange to green. Okay, so once I have finished with the connections, then I can give the IP configuration to the respective end devices. So 12.1 for the first PC, then for the second one 12.2 I will give, 12.2, then for the third one. I am giving 12.3 and for the fourth one I am giving 12.4 Okay, now the entire network which is using a switch which is the second network is already become green. Now I can see how the packet First of all, let's see if source to destination it is successful. 
it is successful okay now we will see in the simulation mode whether our packet how what is the journey of the packet in the simulation mode so i am starting with the simulation so now if you observe it is gone from source to switch from switch it is only going to its destination unlike your hub where it is brought broadcasting it to everybody on the network so now i have i am receiving the acknowledgement for my packet which will be received at the source so tick mark is an acknowledgement so this is what is the operation of the switch that switch will only send the packet to its destination and not to everybody on the network so hub is a broadcasting device switch is not a broadcasting device now let's move on to the third type of uh, a uh, network which is using our router so i'm using a router which is 1941 i'll just shift this side okay then i'm going to use a switch which is say i'm using 2950-24 switch again over here so i'll just move the devices this side okay so 2950 switch over here and i will use the end devices say i am using two end devices right now or i can use a laptop and a pc or both laptops or both pcs you are free to use anything then i will use the automatic connections to connect the switch to the end devices like this okay then over here also i am using the automatic connections now the router and the switch okay you can add one more end device if you want selecting one more end device which is a laptop and i'm using the automatic connection for the connection of the devices like this okay now the next one is that this is a separate network there are since the router is involved router will always connect to separate uh, network so i'll name this network 192.168.1.0 so 1.0 and this side suppose this is my another network which is 198.16192.168.2.0 so this is one network and that is another network just to distinguish between the network i will use some fill color option so i will be using this suppose this is one of my network uh, i will select some fill color option ek minute select fill color suppose if i use this then i am selecting okay and the other color which i'll use is say just this is just to distinguish between the two networks nothing else okay so these are my two networks all right okay now i need to just give the ip addresses to each of my devices so here suppose i give 192.168.1.0 is the address of the network which is the first address 1.2 please remember that whenever the router is involved there is a concept of default gateway so 192.168.1.1 is the default gateway and this is going to be the default gateway for all the devices which are connected in this particular network so yahan we give 1.2 was already used so 1.3 default gateway remains the same which is 1.1 so 192.168.1.1 is the default gateway 1.3 is the name of the ip address of the end device so here it is 1.4 and the default gateway remains 1.1 so this is the default gateway so this side is configured we go on the other side the network is 2.0 over here so the network 
IP address for the end device will start from 2.2 because 2.1 I am going to assign for the default gateway. So 192.168.2.1 is for the default gateway. Okay. Now this side desktop IP configuration and 2.3 uh, 2.3 yes 2.3 is for the device. And the default gateway is going to be 2.1 which is common for all the devices which are connected in this network. And here it is going to be 2.4 because 2.3 is already used. Default gateway is same for all the devices 2.1. So now we have configured all the end devices which are present on the network. What you can see is that the entire network has become green but this side is red. So we need to make this green. So we'll configure the router. If I keep the cursor over here, I can see gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and this side it is 0 slash 1. So we will click on the router, go to config gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 which is connected on the left hand side network having a default gateway 192.168.1.1 and we will make this on. So now you can see that the red has become green and this side it is 0 slash 1. So right hand side wala network is 192.168.2.1 is the default gateway for the right hand side wala network. I will make this on. So now the entire network is slowly becoming green from red. So green to orange and orange to red. So there are two networks on left hand side one network on right hand side one network. I have just uh, distinguished them with the help of the uh, colors what you can see. Now once the entire network becomes green we can see the operation of the network by using the uh, by dropping the packet from source to destination. So now if you can see the entire network has become green. So now I will select a packet. Suppose this is my source and this is my destination. So first time it will be failed. Let's try it again. Source and destination. Now it should be successful. So if you see now the uh, packet is successful from source to destination. Right. So I uh, will just show you the same thing in simulation mode. So I'll just pick up a packet from source. Take a minute. Up. This is my source and this is my destination. So suppose if I start the simulation. Now it has gone to its destination only and now you will be able to see the reverse journey of the packet where it will give the acknowledgement of the received packet to its source. So this is our source from where we started the packet delivery. So now this is what I am getting the tick mark which is the acknowledgement. Alright, so this is the way in which you can see the behavior of the hub which is a broadcast device, switch which is little bit more intelligent than hub and the most intelligent device which is the router and their operation on the network. I hope all of you have understood this. So this was hub, this was the second one was the switch and the third one was using the router. So this is how you can know the operation of all the three devices and its behavior on the network. Thank you so much everyone.